Yep, that dumbass actually made up decals for his bass drums. Oh, yeah. But they look kind of cool. Hi, guys. Todd, the cheap drums guy, down in his basement. Wet, cold, nasty Saturday morning. If it dries up, I'm going to go have to mow the lawn one last time for the season. I really don't want to do that. But uh, I'm having issues with my sound percussion lab kit. Not digging the sound of the snare. And my interest in the kit's kind of waning a little bit. And so I tried to, uh, I decided to try and do something uh, new this morning with it. And I thought by combining it possibly with the, the drum zone kit, I might get a little bit more life out of it. Uh, I really don't want to, it, it does kind of mean something to me. Not as much as the my $30 kit, but anyways, this is what I did do it this morning. So I combined both kits. You can see there's part of it there and the add-on 16-inch floor tom. But I kind of made a bass drum monster or a double bass monster out of it just to see how it would work out. And uh, it, it turned out kind of cool. Uh, it works. I can op actually operate both pedals, even though you can see the, the hi-hat stand does cover the forward part of the bass drum pedal. It, it, my foot does not hit that. Uh, stand brace at all though and uh, it does work pretty good can I play double bass uh, hell no I can't don't even ask but uh, it's still fun to try um, that sound percussion kit is just absolutely driving me nuts though because it's the 13 inch snare I had a feeling I'd have a problem with the 13 inch snare to begin with and I don't know I haven't heard a lot of good things about them but I have an Evans heavyweight head on it which is a very loud head to begin with, but I also have a Evans uh, dry head that I'll probably switch off to it. Um, if I can't get it to sound right with that, I'll probably end up uh, selling the kit. I also thought uh, about switching out, you can see of the EC2 and the 14 and that 16 over here, switching out the EC2s and maybe putting red hydraulics on these as well. And keeping it with the drum zone kit, uh, the 20 inch, I thought about getting kind of stupid and actually cutting it up and turn it into what they call a UFO drum now, which is like a big 20 inch concert tom uh, that mounts off a stand. I know I've got the means to mount it off a stand and all that right now. And just by cutting it up and I, I can finagle around with it a little bit and get it to work. And the snare, though, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's just problematic. It just rings like no matter what. I got moon gels. I've tried tape. I, I've adjusted the heads, adjusted the snares. And, it, and the snares, uh, the equalizer snares are supposed to help with, you know, just the sound of it all together. But it just doesn't seem to be working too well. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So I might just keep my eyes open on Guitar Center. Uh maybe for a replacement down the road. You know, there is three drum sets now that I'm looking at. There's two Cabrias made by Premier and an Olympic that I'm really interested in. And funny thing about Premier, you know, I, I mentioned in a video about uh, keeping an eye on Guitar Center because you'd be surprised what you find in there. And a somewhat rare kit made by Premier is called a Resonator. And those of you unfamiliar with Resonators, like uh, take this... Um, 16 inch drum for example you can see the hardware of the bolts and the screws and all that on a premier resonator they have an extra layer added after you get everything put on all the hardware added there's an extra uh, wood ring that goes in there well, not a ring it's an extra shell that actually goes in there and it helps with the tone and the uh, res res resonating hence the name resonator and it's a very loud kit, but it's also a kind of an in-demand kit. And it was like 800 and some odd dollars for a huge seven-piece kit with uh, four rack toms, two floor toms, bass drum, and snare. It was like seven or 800 bucks. And within an hour, it was gone. People are watching. People are watching. And they do have another resonator that was showed up this morning. It's white. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm not a fan of the resonator kits, though. So I'm not interested, and I still want the ones that I do. But uh, uh, this is just what I'm doing this morning, and I'm trying to get more use out of that uh, other kit. And that's its bass drum. 
and I almost feel sick just thinking about cutting the bass drum up. And I don't know. It, it's just kind of hard trying to figure out what to do. But uh, anyways, any of you wondering about that cymbal project I worked on yesterday, um, I got the Caravan cymbal and the other Crut 14-inch cymbal that I tried drilling holes in to make trash uh, crashes out of and try to change the sound on it. Well, I did drill, and unfortunately, whereas the Zildjian turned out better, those other two cymbals turned out worse. And I won't even give you a sound demo because they sound absolutely terrible. I'm not going to get rid of them for now, but I'll retain them because maybe somewhere down the road I'll find a use for them. Uh, but just wanted to talk about those few things today. And also, again, yeah, that looks kind of, well, they're kind of cool, actually. I'll show you real quick. Yeah. Oh, well, it looks cool, I think. You know, you got to have a little bit of fun with what you're doing, I guess. So you're not having fun, you know, you're just wasting your time. But I, I believe I got these. I initially went to make up these, I think it's Drum Maker, or not Drum Maker, but a Sticker Maker online. And these are 4 by 6 And I thought I only ordered 6 I'm pretty sure I only ordered 6 uh, for like... 12 13 bucks but they sent me eight well i'm not complaining about that i'll put one on my car too but uh, if any of you guys are looking for like ideas like uh you know making your own stickers for your bass drums uh go to sticker maker and if you have your own design they can knock it out and you'll get it within a week or you know you can uh i think they have templates there you can do it and make your own these are my bass drum decals but on the drum zone kit, I took off the badges. As you can see, she's blank. She's got no badges. And, you know, I did a lot of work to this kit. And I thought about making my own badges for it because I'm claiming it as my own. So I'll, it'll probably be a deviation of something like this. And, yeah, that T is offset for a reason. Just because I'm a little offset for a reason, I guess. But anyways, I'm Todd, the cheap drums guy. Got nothing better to do and i guess the dogs are whining so they probably got outside and poop so yay clean up dog poop but you guys have a good day eh peace